wanted to show you what I've been up to over here at the target house. Um, I've been reframing the existing structure. Probably would have gone straight into the room addition, but it's been raining and cold and it's muddy back there, so I can't really do anything in the back. Uh, so I came up here and I've been reframing everything. So this front was a bedroom right here. Um, I took out the wall and opened it for extra living space. So now it's actually part of the living room. Um, put a big header up there. I'm not going with any arches in this house. I'm going to continue pretty much play off of the theme of this built-in right here since it's so cool. So all the openings will be square and cased out uh, same height with the same size trim as what was here originally. So this will be a big opening that's, uh, that's all cased out with that trim. And this bedroom right here, um, it actually had a Jack and Jill bathroom. So the, the one bathroom that was in this house was right in the middle of the two bedrooms. So I sealed off both of those doors. This was the closet for the bedroom which will now become sort of the coat closet here. So right when you walk in the house there's a coat closet. Uh, so moving through here to the dining room. Um, uh, that was another doorway to the second bedroom. So what I did was I opened that up I think six feet, put the header. It all matches the same height as the existing. Uh, I added this hallway. It's similar to what I did to the hat trick house. Um, so once again, you used to have to go through one of these bedrooms to get to the bathroom. This was the closet for this bedroom. So now you actually um, come into this little hallway area and you can make a left right here and come into the bathroom now. So the bathroom's way bigger now. Um, or you can walk down the hallway and come in this door. So this will be access to the third bedroom. And then I'll put another opening right here that will go to the second bedroom. So the addition of this little hallway really made sense and um, it, it enabled you to get to the bathroom without going through one of the bedrooms because that will be the guest bath. So it's kind of off the dining room but it's not right in the dining room so it's going to work good. And as you can see right here for the kitchen, I took out that whole existing wall, I totally reconfigured that and got my header up there. It's got a big 8 foot granite bar that goes across. Those windows at the back and that door will be gone. There will be a big U shaped kitchen and that window right there will stay. The sink will be underneath that window on the right. Um, so when you walk straight back through here, um, there actually be another opening right there where you continue down a hallway to go to a new, the new back door and the new master suite room addition. Uh, the utility room will be around the back of this wall. And so the whole 800 square foot addition that I'm building is going to be straight back through there. And that will be sealed off because, of course, that will be the smallest of all the bedrooms, um, which I had told you. It's down that hallway right there. So that's it. Um, did a lot of changing stuff around. It's looking way more wide open and good in here. Smells like new wood. Uh, can't wait to get started out back and actually add on that square footage so we can really see what we've got going. Really stinks in here. Um, it doesn't matter how old the house is. When you open up the walls, it really just starts to smell. But this house particularly smelled bad. You can see this old funky air conditioner right here. Oh, what do we got here? An air freshener. I wonder how much good that thing did. Stay tuned. TomTarrant.com.